particular session is going to be hands on and i will cover a few tools uh, for this uh, uh, visualization of data okay and uh, there will be you know uh, several uh, type of uh, you know i will just cover several type of tools if time permits and uh, i will also cover few uh, open source tools which you can use for visualization of data whether whether it is uh, uh, numeric data or non numeric data so i will try to cover both kind of data and uh, to start with i will start with this uh, first tool which is draw graph so uh, you will have to just uh, open your browser and type raw graphs dot io okay, so this is uh, you know online open source kind of uh, uh, visualization tool for uh, several kind of data and i will just uh, go through a few uh, examples then i will uh, show you how if you if you want to visualize your data how you can do that through rawgraph.io and uh, after that i will try to cover a few other tools also okay so uh, you know this is going to be not this is not going to be a very long session and i cannot cover the whole part of it so i will just introduce these tools uh, you can explore it on your own and if you have any doubt you can just post your queries uh, in the discussion forum or maybe uh, email me any time so i will try to res resolve those queries uh, because since it's a very big topic visualization of data is it's in itself is a very big topic in which a uh, separate ftp can be organized okay so i will just try to uh, just give you the glimpse of this this tool how you can use that so let me start with uh, some examples gallery so you will see a few uh, examples here for example uh, this raw graph has been used to uh, draw this graph uh, the population history of your cities they have not been uh, so th this is a graph which has been plotted uh, you can see this is a timeline uh, and population data so this is one of the example uh, let me show a few other examples like this one so this is a hierarchical graph uh, which is again you know uh, you know quite you can make uh, this uh, dendro this is called as dendrogram so you can visualize uh, this dendrogram also using this raw graph uh, let me see a few other examples so this is again you can you can just uh, explore this so this is for example this is a historical data you can say uh, the dynasty uh, of saudi arabia saudi dynasty and uh, you can see this is a central node and uh, different uh, external node emerging from it okay so uh, you may find this uh, you may think that this is very difficult to draw but uh, i will show you how you can uh, draw it uh, within minutes if you have uh, data ready with you okay so these uh, let me let me show a few more one so this is again a political party uh, i think this is uh, from some other language i don't know this is this is called a bump chart and uh, this is for the political data okay so uh, these are so you can explore these uh, this gallery to just see how different kind of graph can be uh, plotted so i will explain few of them and sh will show you how to use uh, raw graph to draw this kind of graph so so these were the gallery now to uh, if you want to draw your graph through raw graph so what you will have to do you will have to click on this link use it now okay so uh, i will explain it again go to raw graph raw graph dot io and click on use it now and you will find this one so uh, this here you have the option to put uh, paste your data so either you can paste your data if you if it is ready with you on excel so you can just copy and paste your data here okay i will repeat this uh, if you your data is ready with you in excel or maybe in word or any other format you can just copy and paste here okay so it 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 must be in the csv form that means comma separated so uh, all your data should be comma separated okay so for example if you have population data then you can uh, say that uh, city comma population city comma population so all those data uh, should be in the csv comma separated form so you will have to just copy paste uh, your data you can copy and paste and from anywhere 
uh, you can upload your file so it's if, if it is in the form of tab separated comma separated so json excel file in any other form uh, format in, in these kind of uh, format you can upload your data by clicking on this upload file link okay so you will have to click on this button and open your excel or csv file and upload it here so paste your data direct copy paste upload your data from url if you have data ready uh, say in a csv format in your google drive or any their web link you can copy paste it uh, here so i will not explore this in detail because these two uh, examples in these two things will work okay so pasting your data and uploading your data from here okay uh, for now i will just use few uh, samples which uh, the data which uh, uh, are already there so you can see the the movie data is there uh, biggest cities per continent animal kingdom so these data are sample data i will try to use these data to plot a different kind of graph so uh, i will select this one movie so you can see the data is in this format so this is the fields movie genre uh, production budget uh, box office uh, roi rating imdb so i'm just uh, using you can see the few of data are non numeric like uh, genre is non numeric data and few data are uh, numeric so uh, few you know uh, the audience uh, the participants are from different backgrounds some are from history some are from uh, the humanities background arts english so uh, you you will uh, for for uh, i what i feel that uh, most of humanities background they tackle with uh, non numeric kind of data so please listen to this lecture and even i i assure you that you can uh, use non numeric data to visualize uh, these kind of graphs also okay so with numeric uh, there are different other tools also and i am sure that uh, most of us use uh, for numeric data visualization like for example excel itself it provides several kind of graph uh, spss is there r is there python is there tableau is there so there are different kind of uh, tools available for numeric data visualization but i will try to cover few non numeric data kind of visualization also with this raw graph okay so uh, this is the data of movie now if you scroll down you will see uh, different options available here for plotting okay so uh, there are different categories of uh, plots like dispersion if you want to see uh, the uh, you know uh, to, to just see the range of uh, set of data and illustration with the data groups or it is dispersive in nature so dispersive you have uh, you these five options contour plot convex hull hexagonal binning scatter plot vernoy and b swamp plot so uh, for most of the numeric kind of data these things uh, these graphs are useful for dispersion uh, measurement or dispersion visualization for distribution uh, if uh, you are using spss or r or excel then uh, you have uh, different options there also okay to see the distribution pattern but you will find a box plot uh, most of us use box plot uh, in excel and maybe in spss also but uh, this is some new like b swamp plot so you can explore this one hierarchy so this is for you know uh, non numeric kind of data it can be used like a circle dendrogram for example the, the dynasty data or maybe some political party data or uh, any kind of non numeric data you can use this circular dendrogram or cluster dendrogram okay so uh, if this is suppose you want to uh, show the mughal history then uh, you can use this cluster dendrogram to show how those kings and their uh, their successors were there so you can just uh, visualize this with this uh, hierarchy or cluster dendrogram okay uh, circular dendrogram or cluster dendrogram uh, hierarchy weighted if you have the mixture of data like uh, uh, you have uh, numeric as well as non numeric data so few things are in numeric form and few things are in non numeric form then you can use this circle pack uh, this hierarchy weighted type of graph so circle packing sunburst uh, tree map weighted uh, so these things can be used uh, in the case of mixture uh, mixed form of data uh, multi categorically this multivariate again this uh, is related to numeric kind of visualization so multivariate uh, bar chart pie chart these are available in uh, spss and uh, r and excel also so uh, but this these two are interesting like uh, 
alluvial diagram and parallel uh, multivariate uh, for multivariate visualization parallel coordinate uh, again for uh, humanities or maybe say for history people or maybe geography political science these are uh, in, this is interesting gantt chart time chunks so again for duration for example if you are a law faculty and you want to display like for example which case uh, long uh, there there are few cases which which are very you know long uh, which is very longest pending uh, cases in say high court and district courts so you can visualize those uh, things uh, through this gantt chart or any kind of time chunk data can be visualized using gantt chart uh, time series data so time series uh, we uh, most of us uh, for in for the statistical analysis they came across these kind of data time series so they can use area graph on um, chart horizon graph and string graph uh, in other format like for example r and python or maybe uh, in excel or spss they use simple line plot of thing for visualizing time series but here you you will see uh, these four options are also there and again it also provides custom uh, add your chart so suppose you have uh, created some new kind of chart you can submit it there so that others other people can use the, those kind of charts so this is again uh, the option available here if you have some created some new kind of uh, chart so let's start with this data and let's uh, explore say any kind of uh, maybe i will use uh, this circle packing or 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 maybe yes let me we start with this one uh, circle or maybe for dispersion so i i'm i've just i will repeat this step i have clicked on this try your uh, try our samples i have used this movie data and uh, i'm just going to uh, start with this scatter plot because a uh, few of us are familiar with this one so scatter plot click on this one scroll down and you will find all the fields here okay so i will repeat this again uh click on try our samples uh, if you have uh, your data ready with you then you can copy paste your data here and uh, i'm just for the demonstration i'm using this uh, data which is already there so try our samples movie dispersion so this is the data which is comma separated so the movie name is avatar it belongs to action genre uh production budget is 237 and box office collection is 2784 uh roi i'm not sure what exactly the roi and imdb rating is uh, 8 so it it is very highly rated movie and uh, so the you can see the data is comma separated and i have selected this scatter plot now uh, and all the fields will appear here so now you will have to drag and drop your fields here so here you have x-axis y-axis and it is written that uh, it the x-axis value should be in the form of numbers or dates again uh, for y-axis numbers and dates for size uh, numbers only for color numbers strings dates for label numbers strings and dates so uh, these uh, three are uh, these three will uh, you will have to drag only numeric data in these three fields x axis y axis and size because uh, it is written here numbers uh, you, you have the option of date here but no i don't think that uh, yeah so, so there are no date type of uh, data here so we have all the uh, option for dragging uh, only numeric data in x axis y axis and size for colors we have the option of uh, strings also so non numeric data can be put in this color field and label field so let's start with uh, this graph plotting so let me put a uh, production budget in the x axis so i will just drag it here okay so production budget in the x axis and box office collection in the y axis so in the x axis it will con it will show the production budget how much cost it took to uh, just uh, make that movie and this is the box office collection now uh, we have the option like uh, let's let's see this graph so this is a very uh, you know raw type of graph uh, where no nothing can be you know uh, generalized so let me put some other data so uh, what I can do, I can put movie data in the label. 
okay so that i can see the name of the movie so you can see now this titanic avatar movie is there which uh, which has uh, you know y axis contains a box of its collection so uh, avatar movie has collected uh, you know largest amount of money in the box office and the budget is also very high so titanic is in the second position and you can see pirates of caribbean and x men and uh, the kind of extra et movie which is of very low budget and which has also collected a decent amount of money okay so you you have got a mail so you can see different movies and uh, box of collection in this graph let me put a few more things for example uh, you you can see the whole uh, all the circles are of same size okay so we, we can make it more uh, appealing by uh, dragging one more field in the size okay so what i can do uh, you can just uh, drag this box office in the size again so you can see y axis also contains box office and size also contains box office so now you can see the size will uh, the circle size will vary according to the box office collection so avatar movie uh, you will see it's uh, the, the radius of this avatar movie circle is very uh, large because uh, i have dragged it in the size uh, size field okay uh, this field is empty so maybe i can put genre so since you can it can take the string value so i can put this genre in this box so genre string is there now it looks uh, you know you know very uh, uh, appealing now so you can see now the color uh, has been changed and you can see adventure action movie is in the red color adventure movie green color and all uh, the genre, genre uh, you can also identify the genre based on the color so now all the fields are filled uh, here all the fields have some kind of value uh, production budget box office uh, box office again in the size color label even word field can contain uh, uh, one uh, one field here can contain more than one thing so let me try if it works uh, like for example if uh, i put uh, this roi number uh, here also so you can see okay so it is not working let me try yeah no so it, it is taking uh, only one value uh, let me try it here label yeah so here you can see label contains now two values so it it shows the phantom minus comma 8.9 so whatever the value of roi is there it also contains two values so uh, one uh, this uh, thing box can contain more than one field if it allows uh, it okay so even you can have color uh, for different uh, may maybe for the rating uh, let me try this no no it is not taking uh, so rating is uh, there color according to rating so genre it it, it it only takes only one value so you can try if it can if it takes more than one value okay so you can consider this to be a final uh, graph now if you want to use in say your research publication or uh, if you want to copy and paste it in your word file uh, so what you will have to do you will have to just download it from here so you have different options here uh, vector graphics image png and json so maybe image png type the name of the file plot one and download okay so you can download this and now you can copy paste it anywhere so this is the the final picture okay now you can just copy it and paste it in the word file and uh, you can use it in your say any kind of research or any kind of article i hope this is clear uh, if you have any doubt then you can just post it in the youtube chat box okay so this was the first example and uh, maybe you can try some other kind of graph so maybe uh, say vernoid tessellation this is again for dispersion uh, you will have this kind of value uh, and it it might uh, it is the possibility that all for all kind of data all kind of visualization is not possible so maybe scatter plot is very appropriate for this kind of data and maybe it uh, cannot be appropriate for Vernoid tessellation. So let me try this one if it uh, if it is you know appealing or not. So now it, it, this Vernoid tessellation uh, has three options: x-axis, y-axis, and color only. Okay, so let me put production budget in the x-axis, box office collection in the y-axis, and 
maybe uh, movie name in the color okay so so this is there but you will find that it's not very appealing and it's not very useful for this kind of data since it it has only you know uh, numbers numbers and there's no uh, field for label so you cannot visualize the name you cannot see the name of the movie so this kind of uh, visualization is not that appropriate for this uh, movie data but uh, surely it is uh, useful for uh, uh, scatter plot uh, dispersion maybe uh, let me try this one also so hexagonal binning so i have this data and i am trying hexagonal bin binning so it, it only contains two kind of data again it will not that much useful but let me let me show you how it will look like so this is hexagonal binning so you, you see this hexagonal binning uh, if you have only two data uh, then uh, and you just want to see the packing thing so you can use this uh, hexagonal binning otherwise uh, you will have to find out which visualization is better for your data all right uh, okay so let me try another sample uh, say uh, biggest city per continent so uh, this is uh, continent name country name uh, city name and the population and let me try say a uh, circular dendrogram i'm not sure whether it will be that much useful but let me try so hierarchy drag numbers strings and data so we have three options here numbers strings and dates so let me um, start with say city and i will uh, put population here also okay so you see this circular diagram is there so every population every city and its population is there uh, i'm i'm sure that this is not that much appealing but uh, you can s again it depends on the data but you can see the visualization is quite easy you just have to drag and drop the things here and uh, you can download it and use it so maybe i will try one more field here so let's see how it looks like uh, i will have to put it at the top so country name uh, city name and its population so united states we have philadelphia houston uh, chicago and los angeles new york city and uh, different india we have delhi and mumbai so city uh, the name of the city uh, sorry country city and uh, uh, the population uh, even I will I can try this continent name also so I will put continent name uh, you see the this uh, sequence also matters uh, since you can see South America South America it is not that much appropriate so uh, I will drag and place it at the top so now I think it will be more uh, appropriate so continent uh, countries and uh, this one your cities and populations so this is circular dendrogram uh, i have drag and drop all the fields in the same box here okay uh let me try a few other ones uh say this hex i think this will be more appropriate for this kind of data so circle packing so hierarchy now we have uh the option of numbers strings dates here number uh color drag numbers and string dates here and drag numbers here so, so let me try uh, that data with this one so maybe i can uh, put size uh, this population here and label i can put the name of the city continent and maybe country for the country let me see how it looks like so you can see jakarta philadelphia so all those since the data is quite large so that's why you cannot visualize whole data in this uh, same picture uh, so i will have to change a uh, few things here so maybe i should remove this one uh, and i should put let me try this one so now it it, it is better than the previous one so i have put uh, hierarchy the population data here and maybe population data here also 
so that uh, the size can vary now you can see shanghai is in it so it, it, it is according to the uh, according to the size population size uh, the circle uh, the diameter of the circle will vary okay so population size uh, maybe uh, so country so country i have placed this uh, country in the color field so you can relate that green color uh, all the green color are uh, for asia and uh, this one for africa and so I, so the color name is according to this one okay and label so we definitely want to see the name of the city so i have put this in that in this one okay uh, let me try if it can contain more than one field yes so it is now you see the this country name so all chinese uh, cities in the bigger circle indian cities uh, so you know you can try different permutation combination for uh, your data okay so this is again the continent name according to the continent name okay and maybe you can try the color one also so i have put let me see if no it's not working so in the color field only one value can be there okay so you see and uh, now you can again download this uh, data and then any format and use it in your paper okay so this was kind of data if uh, uh shipra are you there if, and there's any query related to this yes sir <clears throat> Uh, two three questions uh, yeah so the first question is uh, that uh, does it support all kinds of files raw graph yeah so the formats uh, are there as i shown you so tsv uh, tab separated comma separated which is which uh, you know the all excel kind of files are there and one more json file which is you know specifically in the uh, this is very recent one the computer science so you have data from the website so it is it's mostly it in this form of json and all excel format will work so if you have data uh, ready in the excel format you can upload it directly here and use it okay and then there are two interrelated questions that uh, how to appropriate uh, how to use these graphs for humanities research article and how mm -hmm. to use them in literature okay yeah okay so uh, so is, is there any another query i will take it uh, okay uh, then i think you will you know deal with the last question then uh, example of non numerical or scientific data uh, okay 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 yeah. okay fine so uh, you as i sh shown you that uh, there are some kind of you know data which are uh, non numeric or maybe some date uh, kind of thing for history for example if you want to show some timeline like uh, which war happened when and uh, some kind of you know uh, relationship uh, between different countries or uh, different things so uh, for non numeric data for example uh, this time chunk for history people and uh, maybe for the english literature also if you have say uh, literature uh, which is based on the timeline uh, i'm because i'm not from the history or uh, humanities background i'm i cannot justify uh, exactly with your question but i can try it okay so suppose this is the data uh, i will show you this again uh, line up chunks and so this is the data where you have only uh, you know the name and uh, the timeline and uh, you know vocals which uh, which was the name of the artist and uh, starting career and career and of what uh, instrument he, uh, he or she used to play okay so now this is the data uh, let me try this with this scan chart and uh, you will have to put all those things here so uh, this can contain numbers string states here so maybe i can put uh, okay i will put start date here and date here so it's very simple one and uh, numbers of strings so maybe i can put uh, uh, say let me see this if this works or not so you can see the timeline data for you know uh, steve harris the longest time uh, dave murray so this, there was a break in the, this dave murray i don't uh, so uh, this one for adrian smith and uh, you, this is this is the data uh, with the relation for this uh, timeline thing time chunk thing 
uh you can even make the, this more colorful like i can try this one and put it here so now all the colors are different and uh, i so this is one of the example where uh, because uh, uh, i think humanities they come across this uh, timeline uh, time chunk kind of data thing okay uh the other option can be like uh, this uh, circular dendrogram as i uh, have shown that circular dendrogram and uh, maybe i can put all non numeric uh, data so this string is there and maybe a uh, role okay so you, you can see uh, there's no numeric data here only the name string and role string so uh, Bruce Dixon, he used to play, he is a Bob Sire, he used to play guitar and uh, guitar. So you can see this uh, can be done. And even you can exchange this one. Uh, let me try this one also. Uh, so now you can see uh, guitar. These were the main artists of guitar and uh, drums. These were the artists. And uh, so this kind of visualization can be done. So you can see the any no data here. It, is in the form of new numbers okay all the data is in the form of so this is one of the you know uh, most commonly used uh, this uh, uh, visualization for non numeric so chunks time chunks and uh, uh, circular dendrogram and maybe this cluster dendrogram also okay so maybe i can put role and name here i can see uh, guitar, vocals, drums, and beats, and these are the artists. So you see, visualization is quite easy. You just download it and use it in your uh, paper. Okay, so this, uh, this, these are the example. Maybe this one also, but uh, it again requires some kind of numbers. But a uh, few of things like uh, if you have uh, some kind of data in the form, uh, you know, dates. And if you have some kind of data which is a mixture, okay. So, for example, history may history people can say that number of wars uh, fought between say uh, India and in their different kind of wars like uh, Maratha and uh, uh, say uh, Afghanistan or Maratha Anglo Maratha Englishmen and Marathas and different kind of combinations. So here the number is also involved and people uh, you know this non numeric uh, data is also involved so you can just find out which as i shown you for example this uh, hierarchy kind of graph uh, it will work for uh, them uh, for non numeric kind of visualization uh, even multi categorical data can be used by for non numerical data and uh, time chunks and in few cases this uh, time series may also work not in every case but in few cases it can work okay uh, but uh, for example this distribution kind of things uh, on mostly uh, numeric data is required so you cannot visualize uh, non numeric data in this distribution uh, or maybe in dispersion okay so uh, this was about uh, you know basic introduction about uh, uh, raw graph I, I i can try it on your own and uh, uh, you can come ac across you know several kind of graphs and as i said uh, this is a very easy to use graphs like cluster dendrogram uh, circular dendrogram and uh, gantt chart you can use anyone can use these kind of uh, data and uh, this circle packing and uh, you know tree map uh, scatter plot these are again very commonly used and you know it it makes very attractive and for the higher things so for visualization like alluvial diagram let me try this one if i can try it uh, this uh, alluvial diagram so i will have to mm, you know use different say multi categorical so this is a titanic data titanic ship data class uh, survival name gender age group so these these are this is again comma separated data and let me try this uh, alluvial diagram multi category so there are different categorical data because different fields are there survival field uh, gender age group when you can see there are different kind of non numeric data is there so uh, maybe i can start with this uh, gender and uh, maybe age and uh, i will have to put some more fields here uh, 
um, class uh, okay so this is you know alluvial so male female and uh, this class one class two so I'm uh, not sure what exactly class was. So class is uh, class is one. Okay, so yes, no, no class one, class one, class one. So mostly, I think the class one is there. Maybe it is related to uh, what kind of you know class was it? So class one, which who are traveling the class one cabin or class two cabin. Uh, maybe I can use a uh, few other parents ticket number fair fair group uh, destination oh it, it, it destroyed this uh, so you know you will have to find out uh, to visualize uh, if it is appropriate or not but you can see uh, if I can relate to this this is a class 3 uh, travelers and uh, class three travelers mostly belong to you know i think uh, uh, the class one traveler male uh, are here and class one female are here class two uh, so this is a you know alluvial diagram which shows the correlation between uh, the travelers in different classes and gender and the color uh, shows the age okay so uh, different color combination maybe uh, this belongs to one age group this belongs to a second age group and this belongs to third age group so this shows uh, you know in uh, the correlation between different class of travelers in the titanic ship and uh, the age group and uh, uh, the gender okay so three fields which has been which can be visualized through this so you can see i have used only uh exactly the you cannot say this is the exactly numerical or maybe quantitative analysis as the only the age field is the number otherwise uh, you can see it as more a qualitative kind of analysis in this case okay and uh, so this was a uh, different kind of diagrams uh, and different kind of visualization which can you which can you can use uh, through this one a raw graph uh, if you have any doubt, I can take it. Otherwise, I will show a few more other tools which you can uh, explore. As I said, it is very it is very difficult to cover all those aspects in a single lecture. Or it it might require if you want to cover different kind of maybe a few kind of visualization. If you want to cover that, you can use SPSS for that. But, uh, you know, it, if you want to go for some new kind of innovative kind of visualization, then you can use these kind of tools. Okay, otherwise for basic uh, kind of visualization, uh, Excel is sufficient. If you want to uh, go ahead, then uh, SPSS is there. And uh, one more step ahead, then you can uh, explore R and Python for that. Uh, but it uh, covering SPSS or covering R or Python, it may require a separate, uh, you know, 15 day or seven days FTP for that. So it's, uh, but with this uh, kind, these kind of tools, uh, you know, the plot, uh, the graph plotting or graph visualization is quite easy because you have to just drag and drop things and you can have your uh, graph. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yes, there are one or two questions regarding downloading the data, this graph. So participants are asking when the graph is downloaded, do we need to att attach the legend separately or is it possible to download, uh, download the diagram contents along with the diagram file? Uh, okay, so you don't have much option here, but uh, you can, uh, you know, make few changes here. Like, uh, for example, uh, you can change the width and height of uh, the graph and opacity and size so you can uh, make these kind of changes uh, but uh, if you want to make more changes in it then you will have to use some kind of image editor okay so maybe in the paintbrush you can uh, just make some few changes in the paintbrush and to download it you have uh, if you want to use it in the paintbrush then the png option is the appropriate one uh, you will have to just name the file so whatever you want to name the file download it and uh, now you can open it in paintbrush and make if if you have want to make you know put some values x axis or y axis 
somewhere in most of the cases you will find that uh, the values will be there but if you still want some kind of uh, uh, you want to make some kind of changes then you can use any kind of you know uh, picture editor okay and uh, you know uh, yeah so this participant is asking uh, if the graphs can be connected with statistical table data and to what extent these graphs replace a traditional bar chart by or pie chart uh, i would not recommend that uh, for by bar chart and pie chart you should use this one because uh, bar chart and pie chart you will find that uh, excel is sufficient even in microsoft excel you can have your bar chart and pie chart if you want to have some kind of you know different kind of because i don't think that uh, circle packing or tree map or alluvial diagram it's there in the excel so if you want to have some new kind of graph then only you should use this uh, raw graph otherwise for basic type of graph i think uh, excel is sufficient for basic bar graph for basic pie chart uh, you can even use this uh, here also but uh, i don't think uh, uh, you should switch to uh, raw graph to just make your bar and pie chart for different kind of graphs like uh, if you can if you want to have say a vernoity selection then you should use this one okay if you want to have circular dendrogram then you should use raw graph not not for by bar chart and pie chart okay so there are two requests uh, that if you would like to recommend any reference material to work hands on and if you can uh, show an example of uploading excel file and then using uh, to represent the data uh, okay i will just quickly show you how to use that maybe because i i will just use any random data very quickly so maybe this uh, a field is there b field is there i'm just uh, using a uh, you know very random data so a b c field is there and maybe we can put some values to see uh, say 5 7 uh, i'm just copy and paste so there are two ways of using this uh, you can just uh, copy this data here from here uh, okay so it might uh, i uh, let me see if Works or not because it is not exactly the comma separated, uh, and if you can paste it here, if it works, okay. So you, you, this is the first uh, thing you can copy paste. Otherwise, what you can do, you can just upload this file. So I will save this file. Uh, let's save it in the desktop. Say example one. and upload your file here okay so i will have to close this one you see so this is it it's all uh, it it will take it as comma separated uh, by its own now you can try you can try the visualization for this data so i have used this random data as well it's very simple you just you will have to just upload go here and drag and drop your file and upload your data from your computer so i hope this is clear yeah yes so uh, there are no further questions as of now okay okay fine so this was the basic introduction of raw graph and i would recommend that if you want to have you know uh, some innovative or different uh, unusual or you know not very common kind of visualization then you should use this one otherwise for basic kind of visualization excel is sufficient the sec on the second step spss and uh, again uh, if you want to have more kind of uh, visualization then you can go for r or python and for you know if you don't want to have you know coding kind of thing then there are other options also let me explore this one which i find very interesting uh, the first one is you know google chart so if you click on uh, again you open your browser and if you type google charts so this is here uh, charts google developers and if you want to see this chart gallery again you will have different option but the problem is here it is you have will be involved in few some kind of coding so chart gallery is there you can see different kind of chart this is for the geo this is geo chart scatter chart and the histogram bar chart combo chart area chart different kind of charts are there uh, this is hierarchical one also 
uh, tree map and uh, annotation chart so you you can explore these uh, chart here okay so different kind of area chart bar chart uh, I'll, let me show you a few different kind of charts say uh, again the here timeline is also there here also so this is a timeline chart uh, let me in this one so washington adams and this one uh, vega chart uh, so yeah this is a heat map and uh, uh, this is uh, quite like contour like plot so the swarm is here so you you can explore this world world tree so for uh, you know for uh, say uh, for humanities people this might work like uh, this kind of chart can work and uh, miscellaneous there are different examples also so these charts are there uh, but uh, as i said it involves you you know some kind of coding uh, not that much but let me let me show you how you can use it so for example bubble chart so this bubble chart is here code it yourself in js fiddle uh, you can open this example maybe this example what you will have to do you will have to just replace this data uh, okay so you can just uh, copy and paste your data in this format and you can visualize it okay so the short shortcut is this one so if you are uh, you know comfortable with uh, this kind of thing then you can use it this is not like a raw graph but uh, uh, here there are different kind of options i believe here uh, maybe for example if you see diff chart so diff chart is here so this is the option and what you can do this this medicine one medicine two and if pie charts is also there you can see the different kind of pie chart is available so two layers and this is again you know uh, non-numeric kind of data uh, non-numeric kind of representation is also there uh, including numeric data so if you want uh, to have uh, your data then you will have to replace this copy and paste your data in this same format so uh, your first value second value and uh, uh, separated by this comma and value should be in the quotation mark and uh, surrounded by this square bracket so so in this format if you can copy and paste your data in this format then you can use this one uh, so if you are comfortable with a little bit comfortable with this coding thing then you can export this one otherwise raw graph and uh, i will show you more other options also you can uh, export those things also okay uh, let me show one example how to you want to have it and you will have to click on this code it yourself on js fiddle if you want to have this kind of chart so click on this one and what you will have to do you will have to replace these values so this is these are values so vice president if you want to have want to have this kind of chart then replace these values with your values and click on run and you can save it also okay so this requires a little bit uh, more effort but i just wanted to show you that this is uh, uh, this is also one of the option to have uh, the, have uh, different kind of visualization other options are like uh, grafana i will just name it uh, now because uh, it's uh, not possible to cover all these tools grafana is uh, you, you know you will have a kind of dashboard to uh, visualize uh, live visualization so it's not for you know uh, for uh, humanities or social science so if you have so if it's, it's it's very it might be very useful for commerce uh, people people from the commerce technology if you, they want to have you know uh, kind of dashboard to have live visualization for say stock data or maybe for some kind of marketing data social site data so uh, for that kind of visualization grafana is there again to does is uh, again for the live visualization so i am just naming it uh, you can find out uh, according to your requirement uh, microsoft so as google has provided this google chart option microsoft also provides this power bi so power bi is again very useful tool for visualization and you will find hundreds kind of charts in this power bi also okay so it can be downloaded on your computer unlike this google chart google chart it is uh, online tool so you will have you cannot download it directly you will have to use it online but power bi you have the option to use it uh, on your computer you can download it and you it's if you are uh, familiar with excel and spss then you can uh, use it this power bi also so power bi you will find uh, 
hundred of different options also for visualization. Uh, you will find several options which are not there in the Excel. Okay, so Power BI, you can explore this Power BI. Uh, Water Graph is again uh, famous one. Uh, Tableau is again, you know, this is, uh, I would recommend if you want to have uh, different, uh, if you are, uh, if you want to switch the from Excel or SPSS to some other tool where you, where you don't want to code too much, then you can go for Tableau for that. Tableau is there, like, there's one more tool, Nine is also there. So uh, these two are options where you don't have to code anything and uh, you can switch to these tools if you want to have more kind of visualization. So you can see these uh, different visualization things are there. Uh, this is for geography people and maybe for uh, historical trends and content performance. So different kind of tools are there. So Tableau is uh, recommended, highly recommended if you don't want to go into the coding part. Okay, so Power BI, uh, Tableau, these two are options where, there, where no, uh, not that much of coding is required. Uh, just like raw graph. Uh, and uh, this uh, annotation, this Google chart, a little bit of coding is required. R coding is required. Python coding is required. Okay, so these are the options. And uh, that's it. I think uh, these, are, these tools are sufficient for any kind of installation. So uh, if you have uh, came across different, you know, uh, different kind of uh, visualization which you which have you seen most of us use these kind of tools only so uh, any kind of uh, visualization is possible uh, with these kind of tools so draw graph tableau uh, power bi uh, google charts these uh, tools provide you more flexibility in visualization uh, and uh, apart from the traditional ones so traditional ones you have i have repeated several times so the traditional ones is uh, the basic one is Excel, SPSS, R, Python, and uh, apart from these, these tools you can use where uh, not that much of coding is required. All right, so uh, that's it for uh, today. If